welcome back to my channel it's your girl karen back again with another video today i know my voice sounds a bit bad right now but it's because i'm ill but i was like let me do a video today like i need to be consistent with this youtube thing so i was thinking yeah i'm gonna do a video today today's video i'm literally doing a makeup makeup tutorial yeah we're doing a makeup tutorial it's not a full makeup tutorial this time it's actually eye looks yeah with my favorite products so we got morph 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 nubian palette i'm doing a challenge where like i do eyeshadows from different youtubers different youtubers like um james charles jeff jeffree star i'm just literally gonna copy them and yeah i want to see if i can actually nail this because i'm really crap at doing eyeshadow so um we'll see you know we'll see if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't at least i tried let's get to the video let's get to the video this is what i'm looking at this is what i'm, this is what I'm gonna try i'm gonna i'm gonna oh, try so like said, and see this awesome. this is the look i'm doing guys i'm actually shook which is i'm gonna do this look I really hope it bangs because if it doesn't, it's so sticky. So I'm just gonna do my eyebrows for you. Oh my god, he's using my eyes! Oh, we love to see it! Oh my god, he's using my eyes! Okay, so we got the eyeshadow and 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 color and then your crease it's not Next, gonna show to our darker shade which in this case is going to be our orange so to do this i'm gonna grab my m433 which like i was saying is my favorite crease brush and i'm gonna dip into the bright orange shade i'm still gonna hold my brush at a slight upward angle but I'm gonna it's hold not this going to show horizontal to my okay everyone pause it's actually not gonna this color is not gonna show because i'm actually back um i don't i don't know what to do now i'm gonna have to go back because i'm just gonna he's a bit too fast to highlight so i'm just gonna just do step one myself <laughs> and yeah okay i'm just gonna like he said pat it pat it and then swirl it around swirl it around i'm going to have to add a lot of um eyeshadow because this is not showing on my skin diet. This looks like it's already gonna flop. James! Uh, why'd you have to use that colour? Could have used another... Another colour, like... I don't know, but he did say sunset. It's even... This looks so bad right now. I'm screaming. It looks so bad right now. I don't know. using circular motions to place that shadow right up in there and to blend it out. It's when so applying the shadows, so I'm making sure to pat the color right in the crease and then doing my circular motions to blend them out. This will make sure that the shadow doesn't get all the way up to the brow bone and look muddy and unblended because that is obviously not what we want. You want to keep the yellow up here in order to make a nice transition between skin tone, color, and then your crease. Next, we're going to move on to our darker shade, which in this case is going to be our orange. So to do this, I'm going to grab my M433, which like I was saying, is my favorite crease brush. Very, very pigmented. Oh, and then just do a mix of a bunch of lighter motions and small circular motions to make sure it is evenly blended out. It's really important to keep in mind the pressure. I don't understand why his looks so pigmented. And we have, we have the same brush. Back the same brush. We have the same palette, but his looks so pigmented. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna pat it like that, and then I'm literally gonna like, yeah. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Like, I'm not happy. It looks, it looks alright, but on camera, it doesn't look right. But it looks right in real life. 
but I'm actually not happy with the outcome. Um, I want a refund. <laughs> yeah, I really just packed it in there and barely anything showed up, but that's what we want. My best eyeshadow tip for you guys to do would be apply a little bit of product, blend it out, and then see if you need more. And if you do, then add more product and slowly build your way up. The worst thing you can do is start off dark and try to fix it because there's usually no going back. I'm applying the shadow carefully in my outer V, which is just basically like the socket region right up in here where your eye sits. I did get a few questions on how to sketch it out, but literally just imagine that there's a V from the corner of your eye right up into your crease if they were to connect, and that is where you should put your outer V. And then with whatever excess shadow I have left, I'm just going to drag that into the crease just to provide a little bit of dimension. You guys should know the drill at this point, grabbing my red M433, gonna blend right over that edge to make sure that the purple doesn't get too intense and we don't lose that red. And then finally, our yellow. We get to take a break from the shadow for a few short minutes because now we get to the fun part, cutting the crease. You I think I messed up with the yellow. Okay. I'm gonna place my brush right in there and I'm just going to follow the shape of my crease. Once we're happy with the shape and the concealer is all tacky, I'm gonna quickly grab my M205 brush or just any tiny packing brush and go right back into the shadow and I'm going to do the eyelid. I'm first gonna grab the white in the top corner and I'm gonna pack this right on the inner corner of the eye. Then with that same exact brush, grabbing the yellow and packing that right next door. I'm going to design our cut crease. Find the white one. Okay. That same exact brush, grabbing the yellow and packing that right next door. Since the concealer is wet, you have to work fast. Then grabbing the orange, then the red, and then finally the purple, connecting it right into that outer V. As you guys can see, even while packing these shades on there, I still have my head tilted backwards, which might look crazy, but I promise you this makes it so much easier to get full access to your eyelid and make sure that you don't get any shadow where you don't want it to be and you get it right up to that crease line. Similar to up here, how we kept going back in with each individual color after the fact to make sure it was blended, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. So I'm gonna go back into my red and tap it right over that transition area, then the orange, before I do the yellow, I do want to add that is the upper shadow all complete. See, not that bad when you really break it down. We're going to take a break from shadow for a second and move on to the winged liner. Probably right behind the cut crease, a good winged liner is probably one of the hardest techniques to do in makeup. But I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks to really get your wings snatched. The shape of my waterline. Similar to the brows, if it's messy, it's okay because we're going to clean it up after. Once I have that bottom line sketch in, we are golden, we are good to go. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to drag that line right back down to the lashes. Once the wing is in place, all you have to do is lightly place that felt tip right on the base of your lashes and just lightly drag all the way across to finish off that winged liner with a general rule keeping in mind that it should start off super, super thin in the inner corner and get thicker as it gets to this portion and then of course thin out of the wing. Once we're happy with the overall shape of the wing following the end of this video, now we get to clean it up. I'm gonna grab my flat top concealer brush once again, a little bit more shape tape concealer, and I'm just going to carefully go right below that wing and carve it out. I'm also gonna take the excess concealer on the brush and blend it downwards over top of some of this eyeshadow that ended up back here. You don't need to do this, it's just right, right here. Don't do that. Then I'm gonna grab that pencil brush I was talking about and dip it right into the red shadow and use it to blend out that purple. And finally, just gonna grab an M433 and dip it into a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow and just blend right out. The last and final step before moving on to the lashes is going to be water lines. And if you guys are a true sister, you would know that I literally hate them. Doing my water line is by far my least favorite step in my makeup routine. I hate it, I have never liked it. And if you have sensitive or watery eyes like me, you might as well just skip it all together. It is truly saved the life of my makeup routine. I have never once worn a black eyeliner in my upper water line and not have it be ridiculously uncomfortable and transfer to my lower lash line by the end of the night. So just skip it. I'll clean this up. I'll clean this up. Mm. 
because at the longest point, they are all the same exact length. An asymmetrical lash would be a lash that is small on the inner corner, but the lashes get longer and longer and longer as they go out towards the outer portion of your eye and they flare up. I definitely prefer wearing a symmetrical lash because I feel like it gives a very, very doll-like appearance and makes your eyes look very, very red. Okay, cool. I don't think I'm like, I'm gonna put my lashes on off camera only because I don't want to add too much footage, but we've already added the main stuff, which is the eyeshadow. So this is actually the format. Um, I'm gonna now apply makeup and I'm gonna give back to you guys and do the other eyeshadow. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I've finally done this look. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did I actually do well? Did I not? I'm going to do this eye and then do a full face makeup because right now time is not on my hands today. I'm a bit right there. I think I did pretty well. Okay guys, so um, this is the end of today's look. I tried to attempt James Charles's look. He, um, I just decided to do full face because I was already with the eyeshadow and everything. This is what I tried to achieve. Um, <laughs> did I achieve it, guys? I don't know. Did I? I, I think I semi kind of achieved it. It was all right, but this is. If this you like this, good. if you love this look, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and to subscribe to my channel. Um, all my socials will be down below, and the products I've used will be down below. It was. The 35B eyeshadow palette by Morph. That's the same palette Miss um, James Charles used. So yeah, I actually like this look. I think it's a cute look, especially for like summer. Um, so yeah, I'm dolled up now, so I'm literally gonna slap on my wig <laughs> and go. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and to subscribe. More makeup tutorials will be coming soon. Okay, and yeah. So once again, this is my channel and I'm going to see you later. Bye.